All right, we are at Boise. We're getting some food at Joe Mama's. It's 96.6 degrees. It is hot. Heat wave is here. The hash, eggs over medium. Brandon got some an omelet. Which one? Mama's. Mama's omelet. Mama's omelet. Lemon poppy pancake. Side of French toast. And I'm excited about this. I got the huckleberry mimosa. Yes. It's going to be a good day. Interesting. They have bats here in Idaho. All of them are insectivores. Bats can also help reduce the spread of illnesses such as the West Nile virus by thinning the mosquito population. Some bats feed on nectar and play an important role in the pollination of plants. So they built this bat roosting box is what they call it. So bats roost and forage um, have been reduced because of timber, which is a huge industry. We found this really cool pond right here. And there's a skate park. Brandon's gonna go skateboard in the hot sun. 100 degrees today, whoo. Yes. All right. Check it out, really pretty sunset. We're driving to Reno, Nevada next from Idaho. We had a good time in Idaho, spent some time with family. Went to the skate park, had dinner. We did, a, we did a lot of catching up. It was a good time in Idaho with the fam and now we're gonna go play some craps in Reno. Oh yeah. We made it to Reno. We're staying at the Grand Sierra Resort, the GSR. And they also have enacted the policy if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask. So looks like we're probably not gonna have to worry about wearing a mask here in Reno. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, I'm excited to have some fun, do some craps, play some games, eat some food. Last little bit before we're heading home on Sunday. Our room, beautiful shower. Uh, I'll admit I really wanted a bathtub, but you know what? I'm just gonna have to book an appointment at the spa so I can do some lounging. Blue by Bodyography, okay. I like their branding. Blue is all about <sighs> communication, colors of the Arcturians, it's a good color. And, um, here is the room. We got two beds. Ha! <laughs> one for me, one for Brandon. <laughs> it's pretty nice. This is spacious. Plenty of room for me to do some yoga. Look at that really cool mirror. All right, I'm excited. Last hotel. Where are you going? Good morning. It's Saturday. This is the view from our room. There's the highway. Atlantis is in the distance. I really love Atlantis. Last time we were here, we stayed there. 
and um, it's it's kind of surreal because you go there and like everything is sort of you know made of crystals and minerals and beautiful granites and stones and there's a lot of like themes you know water essence themes um, uh, as, as many of you in the spiritual community know you know Atlantis came before Kemet a lot of uh, uh, old souls we've been alive since Atlantis some of us before that in Lumeria um, so it was really a very significant experience to be there in Atlantis um, the hotel just to <laughs> say I was in Atlantis because I really um, resonate with with my life there um, in that lifetime and so then this is my ritual this is sort of my morning I call this my divine light program and I'd like to share it with you right now so this is what I do in the morning I grab let's see how is it in here I've got my Metatron's cube Oh, here we go. I've got my my Apollo uh, Santo, so I keep this little pack with my butterfly because butterfly is the representation of spiritual um, ascension. You know, once you get into the cocoon, you do all your shadow work. You go into the cocoon, which is the womb of dark you know the darkness of ignorance and you come out the other side with the wisdom of who you are by going into that cocoon going into that womb so i've lit, I've lit my palo santo i'm going to go in count um, clockwise left to right circles just clearing the energy of my tools and i'm going to do it over my head clearing my crown my connection to divine, my heart embodying, right? And then my forehead. So it's a crown down to the heart. I'm creating this long line of um, energetic connection. Okay. So you always want to smudge before you do any, um, you know, sort of journeying or... Um, rituals to clear the energy and then what I do is I'll meditate okay I'll meditate I'll sit I'll let myself think about what's going on in my life what is it that I need to work on um, you know I, I make an affirmations gratitude list so I pretty much decide um, how I'm going to feel for the day like what is it the message I need for the day and I'll write an affirmation like I am we are and then I'll write what I'm gra grateful for um, and I really have to do this because um, you know I struggle with uh, depression and and being moody and negative and um, suicidal so this is stuff I, I really have to start my day off doing or else I'll have a day of feeling um, really negative. So I, I sit in meditation. I think about what it is I'm working on. What is going on right now? What is it I need to remember? Um, and this is very personal. So I wrote this the other day and I just write other things that are coming, going on, you know, my wishes. Um, so yeah, affirmations, gratitude, law of attraction. That was a reminder because I got the 1111 card. Um, that it's all about consciousness, what state you're in, state of love, you know. So then I write down my affirmations, my gratitude. Um, just thought I would show you here too because, you know, I'm a fitness yoga, fitness and yoga trainer. So I have also my plans for my, so my divine light program. And I've got self, different things like self-love fitness, self-care fitness, functional fitness, yoga fitness. So these are 
so that's kind of how I plan. The thing is, so for personal trainers out there, you know what this stands for, S-M-A-R-T. It's basically how you record and how you plan, keep a plan. And the point is, have a plan. The worst plan is no plan at all. Have a plan, okay? Write something down for the day, one accomplishment for the day, and do it. And don't stop till you get it done. And that's how you achieve. That's how you create results in your life, okay? It's not going to happen just sitting around and meditating. You have to take action. You have to have goals. And um, after I write that down, I do my oracle, okay? So I have a bunch of cards here that I have a stack of cards. And I, you know, do my, I pick a card out. And I take out my stone here. I have um, a, couple, a, a black moonstone. I got this from Ebb and Flo. She's based out of Mill Valley. This is a black-owned, female black-owned business, which is completely inclusive. Okay, she is trauma-informed. She's decolonized. She is not uh, supports non-binary. You know, non-ableism. You name it. She's super inclusive. So I support her business. And I got this gorgeous moonstone, which I'll hold in my hand as I read my card or as I meditate, okay? And I definitely like to use this for my moon rituals when I'm burning resentments on the full moon. Um, any blocks, keep limiting beliefs, keeping me from li li living the fullest life that I can live, all right? I want to share this with you. I think this is so powerful. I kept this card because I'm, it's like so, it resonates exactly with what I'm, what what's going on with me and my growth and my you know brand as well because my my um logo okay my logo is a yin and yang uh, ascending symbol okay i i have it somewhere in my, some of my um my youtube and my different accounts but um patchwork okay look at this it's yin and yang divine feminine divine masculine um Give, receive, contract, expand, you know, opposites. And it's got all these different colors and different shades and different shapes in the yin and yang. Okay? So my, my logo is yin and yang ascending, which is unity consciousness. Because when you don't separate the yin and yang and you keep it as one piece, that is the unity consciousness. So I want to share with you what it says about this card and, and I'll end here. Okay, because this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. This is what's happening, what's going on with um, where we are. Okay, so patchwork. Every piece, I'm going to read this as I let you look at the, at the card. Every piece of this patchwork is made of different patterns and color combinations in order to remind us that we do not need to all be going in the same direction to be connected. Can you picture how subjective truth can be when we all live in the very same world, in different realities? Each point of this painting is a soul, each shape is a group, and despite their differences, they are one. All are working together for the same purpose, to create a balancing energy and to spread it around a map of unity. Differences are to the world, what shades are to color, an opportunity to highlight each other's vibrance, beauty, and authenticity. We are, we are one. Party, it's a party. We're getting some coffee before we play Craps, our favorite game. Brandon taught me how to play when we first met. Do you remember that? We were here in Reno. We went to the most like ghettoest, smallest, just trashiest casino, and we just uh, played like five dollar minimums. 
and I learned how to play craps. It was so fun. Are you excited to play today? Awesome. How fun. Honey wanna shrimp. And green beans. As well as sake. Where are we? Asian rim? In Grand Sierra Resort. How's the movie? We are going to Atlantis, our last time to gamble before we head home. Yesterday was fun, it was just like partying all day. Saw the ducks at the pool, I thought that was hilarious. We had we watched Wonder Woman 84 in a movie theater, it was like the first time in a long, since shut down. I was in a theater. And then we had Chinese food. I love beef chow fun. I could eat chow fun every day. I love chow fun so much. I have a food blog kind of Facebook page. It's a Facebook page with just pictures. My food pictures. I call it Chang Chow Fun. That's how much I love chow fun. I love Atlantis too. It's really pretty inside. Look at that, Amazon Warrior, Warrior. They have a really good restaurant here. It's, um, they have Japanese ramen. So good. We're gonna get some coffee. Ooh, Egypt, Golden Egypt. I love all the Egyptian. I feel like 
I feel like the casino is just magic, you know? It's just all numbers, numerology, sacred geometry. It's like seeing magic manifested into machines. hike on our way home we're in the Sierras in Auburn yep. and we're just taking a little hike just to be active before we go home and clean up and get ready for our routines Start you know to, back to Monday I mean I like my I like my life I'm not like a burden by my life or anything you know I, I, I do jobs that I enjoy they don't pay the best, but at least I'm happy. How would you s sum up our trip, uh, Brandon? Once in a lifetime adventure around some of the country's most beautiful parks. With yeah. Friends and family. We got to visit family and friends. That was great. Especially, we went up to uh, Fort Bragg. We met up with Chuck and Betty, who. Um, helped us with our wedding when we had our wedding up in Fort Bragg, Mendocino. And they're also the parents of our, of Brandon's best friend's wife. And then we stopped in Oregon, hung, stayed two nights with Jai and his girlfriend. And then when we went to, um, Idaho, we stayed with Brandon's side of the, mom's side of the family. His uncle, Pat and Renee, and we celebrated... His cousin's bir Emily's birthday, who turned 21. Yeah. Before she went to Vegas, that was fun. We saw my grandmother and learned about family history. We talked to grandma and learned the family line, and it turns out that your great grandfather was a, was descendant, a descendant of a knight of a knight for the Crusades, the Christian Crusades, which we should know that history if we want to talk about the dark side of colonialism and Christianity and religion and, you know, before the Spanish conquistadors, it was the Christian crusaders from England, so who worked with uh, Rome and all that, you know, Alfred the Great, we learned about him mm -hmm. in 880, 880, Alfred the Great. So interesting to learn history on this road trip, because that's a good way that we spent our time was Doing a lot of researching, YouTube video, listening to podcasts and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like to learn. Lake Rollins. Pretty big lake. Checking out a Persian restaurant in Sacramento. Maydoon. Lots of outside seating. Back in California. Here we go. Check it out. We just got a dip trio. This is a yogurt base, cucumber. This is eggplant, right? So there's a little bit of caviar on top. And this is hummus. And this is our salad. And we got some pita bread. Made you in Sacramento.
we are back. Here's my Buddha. Hello, Buddha. My Jade Rabbit. Brada Honu. This butterfly. So happy to be home. It's beautiful. It feels always so good to come home. <laughs> 